Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Judge Kavanaugh. My colleagues on the other side are accusing the Democrats of some sort of political conspiracy, but that's because they want us to distract. They want to distract us from what happened here this morning. And what happened here this morning was that we heard from Dr. Christine Ford, who spoke to us with quiet, raw, emotional power about what happened to her. She said she was 100% certain that it was you who attacked her. And she explained how she came forward, how she struggled with her decision, how she wanted the president to know so that he could make a better choice. So when you and my colleagues on the other side accuse us of ambushing, ambushing you with false charges, I think we all have to remember Dr. Ford's testimony and her courage. Let me go back to something you just uh, said in your opening. Uh, you said you thought at your first hearing the Democrats were an embarrassment. We asked you a lot of questions in those days. And which of our questions do you think were an embarrassment? I asked you about dissents you had written as a judge, an amicus brief you wrote as a lawyer, and your knowledge of sexual harassment and abuse by your close friend and mentor, Alex Kozinski. All valid questions in this setting. They are valid because this is a job interview for one of the most important positions of trust in this country. And earlier you agreed that this process of advice and consent is really a job interview. Certainly not a criminal trial. There's certainly no entitlement for you to be confirmed to the Supreme Court. Our credibility, character, and candor of a nominee things for us to consider in your job interview? I think my whole life is uh, subject to consideration. Is that yes? Credibility, character, and my, candor. My whole Are life those specific traits that would be of interest to us as we consider putting you for life on the highest court in the country? Credibility, character, and candor. Uh, of course, and as part of my whole life. Thank you. Is temperament also an important trait for us to consider? For 12 years, everyone who's appeared before me on the D.C. Circuit has praised my judicial temperament. That's why I have the well, unanimous, well-qualified rating from the American Bar Association and all the people who've appeared so before you. So you would agree that temperament is also uh, an important factor for Yes, us and to like the, the federal public defender who testified to the committee um, talked about how I had, uh, was always open-minded and how I'd ruled in favor of unpopular defendants, how I was fair-minded. I think universally lawyers who've appeared before the DC. So the answer is yes, 